La historia de bachillerato internacional presenta Galilea Matilde se ha machado acting as el luchador Fidel Castro. Sara Marie Hawkins acting as camarada Nikita Khrushchev y Cristina Nguyen Lee acting as el presidente Juan F. Kennedy. All acting in La Mariposa Amenizada. And I am your beautiful narrator. Of course you can't know that I'm beautiful, but just take my word for it, because I'm pretty sure that it's 100% accurate. Anywho, I'm here to present to you the three lovers, the three people involved in the whole debacle. First, we have the amazing Khrushchev and the loyal, caring Castro finally organizing the books and everything and whatnot and just not having a care for the world as Khrushchev wears the pants in the family or the pants in the relationship in general. And here we have Castro again thinking and caring for her loving partner Khrushchev organizing the documents that she single-handedly made or that Khrushchev single-handedly did. Oops. And I Yikes, okay. So now we have a secret document between Khrushchev and someone else. Oh no yikes. Oh Castro is going to be very upset by this for the secret documents that they revealed, but now we have to do further investigation between the potential trade agreement. Khrushchev, mi amor, what is this? What is this? It's nothing, my little Bobchika. I merely made him agree to never invade you again. But it says right here the agree to move the missiles from Cuba. Just a formality. I made Kennedy agree to remove his missiles from Turkey as well. But you didn't consult me. It was for your own protection. Kennedy's embargo on sugar and oil was hurting your economy. By ending his quarantine, he's out of the picture. Now, we can trade together and we'll be closer than ever. But you don't love me! But I do. Remember when we first met? Following the Red of the American Fiction on Fates Nation to be a fix, I am proud to announce that I am a Marxist Leninist, and I shall be one and the oh, end of so my life history with so She's perfection. Nothing like Stalin, who's so paranoid with his purges and lies. She is my one true love. I must marry her at once. See, we were meant to be together, Moya Bobochika. Hello? Yes, I understand. I'll be there as soon as possible. I have to go. Something urgent has come up that needs my attention. Go, Mubi. The duel must be done. I love you. I love you too. She's off, walking seamlessly, carelessly, out the door, without care for the world. Castro unknowingly looks to find a paper on the floor. Is there another secret document, another secret agreement between Khrushchev and another foreign nation? Oh, but of course not. It's just a picture of them, the two lovers joining, rejoicing hands, finally celebrating their own communism together, their own ideologies. But now we are here, back to Washington, D.C. Oh, but what is Khrushchev going to do now? Oh no. Is this the other person involved in the relationship? Is this the homewrecker? <gasps> yes, it is. It is JFK. Hey Khrushchev, isn't the new hotline handy? It makes communication between here and Moscow so much easier. And with the love and interest in their eyes, the trade partners meet up again. But before then, they find Castro. <gasps> I knew it! I knew you were cheating on me! Stupid Arminka! Khrushchev, you told me that you were done with that Cuban trash. Remember our agreement? Excuse me, Giddy, he say? And now the terrible fight to do is between Castro and JFK, finally wondering who will win the battle next. And the commercial break. United Fruit Company, the premier supplier of high quality jobs and higher quality fruit across Cuba and Latin America since 1899. 
Disclaimer, USC is an American-owned business that controls the majority of land in Cuba. The high-quality jobs mentioned in this advertisement reflect only a small percentage of the jobs most commonly offered by UFC. This advertisement was with the intent of securing American business interests in Cuba, regardless of the cost to native Cuban workers. United Fruit Company. Our bananas are the best. And now, back to it again on the town of the with two warring ideologies. <laughs> play nice. I could have invaded your country, but did I? No. I only implemented a small little quarantine. It wasn't even a very harsh quarantine. I only stopped you from getting more nukes. I even let you have your food and your medical supplies that you clearly need. Kitty, he said, ahorita pues John F. Kennedy, te estoy diciendo que no, tu puta de mierda, no sabes nada de tu estado, you don't know anything about your country, you're just an imperialist whore trying to destroy every single person. You, do you know what you did? Do you know what you did, Khrushchev? Ya sabes que? He destroyed Iran and Guatemala in the 50s and he hated them. He doesn't want anything to do with you anymore. And I do not like that. Ya tu puta de ay, no, oh my god, no sabes nada, you only care about communist state. But guess what? I'm a communist too. Y estoy viviendo. Ahorita no me mataste, no me dice nada. Y ahorita pues que, huh? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué vas a decir, huh? Pero como que, como mierda! Oh, Christian, how can you do this to me? No, 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 Oh! Wait, no. No. The missiles. You said they're supposed to protect me and mine from my Cuba. No. But they only protected you from the imperialist war. And now, no. I thought you were done with this strategic balance after the U2 incident. And now you don't understand my, you don't understand me. You don't care about me. You don't love me anymore. You don't care about my Cuba. Nothing. You only care about the US and your own country. So I had to put them in Cuba to protect you from him. Well, Chica Pooties, he had his missiles in Turkey. He was threatening my people too. Didn't you say that you wanted to protect the lesser known middle class families and workers in your history will absolve me soon? But oh no, that's not the point. The point is that you lied to me. You went behind my back. You didn't get me saying anything at all. Please, my Bobochuka, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Let's just go home. I promise it'll never happen again. I really want to Okay, I guess ever since we became trade partners, it becomes so dependent on you. <laughs> and you, you pendeja como mierda. If you ever come near me and my little bear again, te voy a matar, pero. And now, finally, with all the drama and everything done and gone and out of the way, they can finally have their happy labor after. Or so you thought, because two years later, between Castro and Khrushchev, as they're groping hate between each other and as Khrushchev's power increases from outside of his own country but inside of his country as he faces his own conflicts, he soon resigns, breaking off the tie. And the bond between Khrushchev and Castro forever and ever.